The base of a solid is the region in the first quadrant enclosed by the graph of y equals 2 minus x squared and the coordinate axis. If every cross-section perpendicular to the y-axis is a square, the volume of the solid is given by which integral? So I like to visualize what's happening. First, I want to see my base. It's this quadratic. I see it has an y-intercept of 2. It's going to open down. And I know these are positive and negative square root 2 as the intercepts. We're only focusing on what's in the first quadrant, though. So we're only looking here. They said every cross section is perpendicular to the y-axis. So that means now our cross section is perpendicular to the y-axis and everything sticking out is a square. So if it's perpendicular to the y-axis, then that means the cross section is dy thick. So I need to find the area of that cross section. The area is a side squared. So what is the side of that square? So I see it's this function, height, However, I need my function to be in terms of y since my cross sections are perpendicular to the y-axis. So y equals 2 minus x squared or x squared equals 2 minus y. x equals positive or negative square root 2 minus y. But since we're focused on the first quadrant, we're only going to take the positive square root. So in this instance, s equals square root 2 minus y. So now we can plug in to our formula for volume. Volume is the integral from my lowest y value to my highest y value of my side squared multiplied by the thickness. My side is square root 2 minus y. So my volume is the integral from 0 to 2. This square cancels the square root, and we're left with 2 minus y dy. And that answer is b.